Hi, my name's Uli Silva. I'm one of the co-founders of the Snaffling Pig Co. We've been going for five and a half years and we make all sorts of porky snacks, including chorizo bites, pork crackling. We also do beers and lots of gifts, including whopping great big advent calendars and gift jars and all sorts of other kind of gifting hampers as well. So Snaffling Pig started as a bit of a bet, actually. We had another business, which was actually in the medical industry, but we wanted to do something a lot more fun. And we saw that in the world of kind of snacking, there was lots of adventurous products in other categories. And we started out going after um, kind of the humble porky snack, which just lacked a lot of innovation. So we've kind of added lots of flavors and lots of seasonings. And that's what led to the idea of as to why we're here today. So when I'm looking for a business advisor, I'm looking for someone that can be our critical friend for the business, who can help us with big key decisions, and someone who I can pick up the phone to and speak through various different things that we're having challenges with. We've selected to use James Cooper Creston for a variety of reasons, and I think it's really important to address the fact that as a business, as we're kind of growing, we need someone who's going to be our an impartial body that's going to challenge us on various decisions that we're having, but also someone who's going to kind of be there and support us in terms of kind of our growth ambitions, uh, which is what I really value in terms of kind of how we work with our current business advisors. Our business has changed quite a lot in the short space of time that we've been going. We've kind of gone from very humble beginnings where we had a very, very small team. It was just Nick and I going kind of pub to pub and then growing the business through a little bit of online to now. Fast forwarding five years, we're a team of 25 people. We've got some really big aspirations. We've brought in lots of department heads to kind of help us manage the team. And we're starting to surround ourselves with people that are really experts in their field to help us kind of drive the business forward. And we're now playing across lots of different categories. So where we started as kind of one particular area, we're now kind of exploiting other different channels and in terms of kind of where we can take the brand. Diversification is really important to our business. We talk about, we have this pun kind of being called the Staffling Pig, where can we take this piggy to market? So one of the things that we really wanted to focus on is if we're playing in a particular category, how else can we stretch our brand? And it's really important in kind of times like today, you can't put your all, all your eggs in one basket. So we started looking at, we initially started looking at the on trade, which is typically your pubs. Then we looked at kind of grocery and supermarkets, but then we started to think a little bit bigger, or should I say bigger? Uh, and we started to look at areas like um, gifting where we can actually start to gift snaffling pig products and pork crackling, which is why we started to design things like the advent calendar uh, and our gift jars and our sauces and beers, because it actually helps us stretch the brand in other places, helps us become a little bit more seasonal, and we're not reliant on just one category. And we're always looking for kind of new ideas and something that you'll see kind of hitting the stores later this year is that we're actually going into the chilled space. We're taking our chorizo bites into the kind of chilled arena, which is a whole new area for us to kind of look at and take the brand really, which we're really excited about. What's next? So we've got some really big ambitions over the next couple of years. We want to double the size of the business and we're going to do that through doing a lot of what we're doing in terms of the same. So looking at all the categories that we're selling across and trying to activate and win more customers into Snaffling Pig, as well as starting new categories, which is things like the chilled arena, where we're kind of going after chilled snaffle bites, taking us into a different space in the in the kind of market and then looking at our customer profiles and trying to work out how can we kind of replicate what the big brands do and make Snaffling Pig more accessible for more people. So that's pretty much what we're going after over the next couple of years. Cool, my three tips for any entrepreneurs that are out there is I would say kind of jump in head first is my main one, which is basically ensuring that if you're 80% of the way there with your product or service, go out there, start selling it, telling people about it. Don't wait for absolute perfection because there'll be someone else chasing your tail. So just go out there. The second one is mentors. I'd surround yourself with, it could be your accountant. It could be someone who's been a business advisor before. It might be someone who's run their own company before. I'd say just try and absorb them for as much information as you possibly can as any, any kind of advice along the way is going to be really, really useful for your journey. And I'd say that kind of the, the last thing is, is your kind of passion and surrounding yourself with people that are just as passionate 
about you and, and your business and the product itself. And what we've done at Staffling Pig is just we've built a fantastic team who are all fully behind the brand and the kind of values of the brand. And they've helped us kind of expedite how we're doing and our journey uh, and really kind of helped us kind of reach our ambitions.